Hello guys, welcome back to my channel again. It's been a while since I put last post my video on my channel. Um, today is a little bit different since most of my videos are you guys seeing me out there fishing on a boat. Uh, but today I'm back in the garage. I call it my own little shop. <laughs> it's what I do uh, when I don't uh, go fishing. And this is where I edit my video and all the stuff. Uh, don't mind the background, it's kind of, you know, messy. But yeah, uh, I'm sure you guys wanted to know what's this video all about because you see the uh, the title, that's why you, you click on it. So I uh, bought a, a little early Christmas gift for myself. You know, I think that sometimes you just gotta treat yourself uh, a little something, right? You know, something that you really wanted. Now, at first, I was a little skeptical about buying this, and uh, I then I didn't think that I I really need it, you know. But then until I actually watched a few of the video and. It got me, <laughs> and I was, so I decided to get it. Um, well, let's uh, let's open up the box together. Now I got the, I got the uh, package a uh, couple of weeks ago, and I've just been busy, didn't get a uh, a chance to make this video, so I haven't really opened the box yet at all. You know, it came with how it looks. That's how it, uh, how the boxes look. Um, so let's pick up the box. Here we are. Now I'm not sure if the uh, GoPro can see the everything here. Let's adjust a little bit. Yeah, like I said, I haven't even opened it yet since uh, UPS delivery. Uh, it's been busy lately, you know, I haven't go out fishing either. So let's uh, open this up and see what we found inside. Now, like I said, I didn't want to get it at first because it is a little pricey. So let's see. This is my invoice. Oh my god, that looks nice. Alright, here's the first one. Boom! What you guys think? It's like that. This is the uh, the Echo Map Garmin the, uh, UHD 93SV. This one comes with the transducer, uh, the one that doesn't come with it. I think it's uh, a little bit cheaper, maybe uh, under 800. But with this one, I got it for uh, maybe, let me see. They didn't put a price here. But it's, uh, I think 1100, just for this unit. And uh, it come with a uh, regular sonar, the map, uh, the side views, the down image, you know. Now with Garmin, the way they 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 call it's uh, well the side view and the uh, the down image, they call it differently. I'm gonna have to learn that. Um, I mean, have to get used to it when I look at the menu. <clears throat> but it's all the same as uh, what Lorenz do. Uh, now on my boat right now, I have. Uh, the Lorenz uh, Elite TI nine. Um, that was that one is on my my dash, uh, and then I have a little small one which is coming come came with the boat. Uh, I switch that and put it in on the front mount, um, uh, front deck. Uh, use most of the time I only use that like to read the depth 
I never use it to, uh, you know, find fish or anything because you hardly uh, detect. I think that one is hook five. Or like hook, the first generation of hook, but it's five inch uh, uh, screen, uh, I believe. I could be wrong, but uh, I'll, I'll show uh, a video. But yeah, uh, this one, when I watched the video and I actually went to Bass Pro Shop and play around with it, and it got me, you know. So I, I tell myself I gotta switch, you know. Um, I mean, I'm still gonna use Lorenz, but this one I'm gonna put on the front deck. Uh, the reason I uh, picked this one is because with the price, it's pretty affordable. I mean, it's still expensive to to us to to me that is, but uh, I want one where it's compatible with the live scope, which we'll get to that in a few minutes. But with this one, the picture that I was playing around with uh, when I was at Best Pro, oh my God, it's really nice, like because it's USD. HD picture everything it looks real real nice and you can literally see what's uh, what the structure look like you know when you look at the regular sonar you wonder what that was you know and then you switch it to uh, the side view the uh, down image and you look at I got that it's just like literally you just it's just like they take uh, a itch like high definition uh, photo and put it right there in front of you it, it was nice so it got me and then I decided to get this one and it's been uh, compatible with live scope and let's get to live scope for now set this one right here for now and we'll unbox that later now this is the main thing that I really wanted boom now we'll just put this one somewhere else. And should we start with this one first? Okay, let's unbox this one first. This is a good feeling right here when you start opening new boxes. New toys. Okay, the first thing, the cover, come out pretty solid, you know. Next, boom, it's the unit itself. I like how they put the plastic on it, so you know it help protect the screen. I'm not gonna peel that out yet until I actually install it. It's really nice, and they have um, the whole thing is just that little tiny plug, one plug. Now I'll show you why they have that later as we go on. Next is Garmin sticker. Pretty cool. Might put that somewhere on my trolling. And on that. Okay. Okay, this is just a little diagram for uh, if you wanted to put on the dash, which I'm not, because I'm already uh, have my uh, Lorenz there. So this is not gonna be useful for me. That is okay. Put that right there. Here you go. This is the one right here. This is the new thing that they come out with. You see? So what to do is you just put the units together in there. Let's see, okay. That's upside down, no wonder. Okay, just like this. Just make sure you pull this little plastic cover out and you clip it on. 
boom and then voila just like that and then in the back here they have all the uh, the plug that's for the uh, network right there the power this is probably uh, the transducer and there's also oh that's a uh, mm. if this this the wire I mean the plug where you connect all your uh, if you plan to uh, share all your uh, uh, data from one uh, unit to another pretty cool but yeah that's all they do and then you just mount it right there and then this is the release it's like oops oh there you go so you press it down and unhook this this will mount right there you don't have to unplug the wire or anything just leave it there and they have this little plastic cover come over here cover it boom that's it done pretty cool I like it and then you just take your uh, your main uh, unit with you so that no one can steal it all right let's put that out of the way for now okay hardware load the uh, seals I don't think I'll be using it okay. here's the power uh, wire come with the, uh, the fuse I might need to extend this because running the power all the way from the front uh, deck of the boat all the way back to my battery might need to uh, get some uh, jumbo wire for this. Looks pretty short. This is only, I would say, six feet. All right. Okay, so this is that. Uh, ah, I see, it's the mag magnetic weight. Not sure if I'm gonna use it, but we'll keep that for now. And this is the the whole transducer. Let's look at. It. Ah, let me give you a little cover for the for this power. Right here. Because it doesn't come with anything. It's just that. So when you plug the power in it, and then you use this to clamp into it. They thought of everything. Oh yeah, this is the one that I need. This is for your transducer. You come with a little carrier. Put your transducer right there. Actually, transducer down here. You mount it down there, and then you put this right underneath your uh, towing motor. Pretty cool. Good. I don't have to go look for a new one. They already thought of everything. Bowman did pretty good job on this because I was worried that you know. I might have to go buy it separately, but they already come with it, which is cool. That out of the way. Uh, and then this is for if you wanted to put it in the back. It's all the hardware. And this is the main one right here. Hey. You know what I'm missing? The transducer wire. 
That shit, you know what? I lied. <laughs> it come with the red. Boom. There you go. Pretty big. But it fit. It will fit perfectly on right on my uh, trolling motor. I mean, right underneath. Um, they say that if you're gonna connect the uh, live scope with it, you do not need this. But I still want the traditional sonar and all those stuff, you know, the down image, uh, side image, for some time if I don't want to use my live scope, you know. So I'll do both. Okay, that's it for the the unit and all the components. Let's put everything away. And then we'll get on to a live scope. Alright, on to this bad boy right here. This is the main reason why I buy this. Because I want to have this. Let's open it up. First thing you see is that main black ba box that they're talking about. This is the main uh, engine where it will help collect everything from from the transducer, move into here, and transfer it out with the network cable into your actual uh, unit right there, the uh, the echo map. Then it's giving you all the live feed. Oh man, I can't wait. But this little box is a little heavy. You got uh, it's a big, uh, big heat sink here. So we got other power plug, the network uh, plug. And this is the transducer plug, which is pretty big. All right, let's set that. Put this in there and then set it on the side for now. I'll tell you, it's kind of heavy, which is kind of good so that, you know, when you mount it in, it stay in one spot while you boat moving around it doesn't move around you know right. this box I got. okay so all the hardware okay this is to uh the mount where you use to mount it on your trolling motor shaft and they say that there's an angle here it's about 8 degree angle um, I think they, they're doing that because uh, when your uh, trolling motor pull it down it, it doesn't uh, really like straight down I mean make the transducer straight so with the uh, angle it kinda help make it really uh, like stay upright at least that's what I understand but yep they got all that uh, mount or uh, tie here I don't think I'll be using that I'm just gonna use this one away put that on the side the power wire always good to have one Here's the main one right here. The transducer. This bad boy right here. Look. Now you see. I think this is how you're gonna mount it, and it will. Twelve degree down, and 
looks like another 12 degree I mean 12 degree forward 12 degree down that's why you, uh, you need you need uh, this one otherwise they only have one single one where it's just shooting uh, forward but you don't have down so this one costs even more with just the single one I think uh, what is it what's the name of it uh, I think they call it a uh, LV LVS 12 and this is LVS uh, 32 something like that but this one you can see both at at one time with the 12 you can only see one so this whole thing man if for average uh, guy like me it is uh, a little pricey but you want it right so you gotta make it happen <laughs> Okay, so next one it's a uh, this is the network uh, cable. It's only six feet, and now I bought uh, I bought myself an extra one. Let's take a look to see if they are the same length. I mean the same uh, size. It looks like the same size to me so I won't be using this one because my box is gonna be underneath my panel where underneath the steering wheel that's where I'm gonna put it uh, I, I want it somewhere where there's uh, cool air coming in because uh, the a lot of uh, issue that people might have is uh, they might have the box overheat because they put in a, a place where it's not much of uh, air uh, blowing in back and forth to to let to keep the the box cool. <clears throat> so yeah, I'm gonna put that right underneath my steering wheel where there's going, always gonna be uh, air going floating in and out with this cable running from the t uh, the front all the way back down to the uh, panel and this is 20 feet so yeah that's it right there next oh they even get you a little ethernet wire here which is cool alright and then some cover brackets I think this one is for if you were to mount it in the back of the boat which I'm not I'm mounting mine on a trolling motor so but yeah it's a little gift for me <laughs> um, I hope you guys uh, enjoyed this little unboxing um, I didn't I didn't want to put uh, what I have on on a title just because yeah <laughs> hope you guys enjoy the video and uh, if you do just hit the like button um, I may or may not do a installation video uh, if I do you will see it right so thanks you guys for staying this long with me and We'll catch each other again on the next video. It might be installation video or it might be me out there already fishing with it. I can't wait though, you know. I'm pretty happy. See ya.